Matthew Sherwood got his start in music young. He was passionate about his playing and decided to make it his career. Matthew was part of a band known as Strike Anywhere and toured the world for the better part of 10 years. After touring for so long, Matthew decided it was time to settle down. He came to Asheville and has now decided to open up a music store known as Sherwood's Music. Here's what he had to say about it. Uh, Sherwood's Music is uh, a music store in downtown Asheville, North Carolina. Um, we're the only store downtown that stocks all the accessories that you see behind me, which I will not turn around and look at right now <laughs> because I'm making deep eye contact with you. Um, Sherwood's Music is uh, where we chiefly do consignment of vintage uh, instruments and amps. And, uh, and sell accessories to musicians in town. We also offer a wide range of repair services, and that's, that's sort of our core business. Um, retail is new to us, so. Obviously, the music business is competitive, and the retail aspect is no different. We asked Matt about his competition and remaining relevant. This is what he had to say. There are two ways we compete. One is by having uh, really razor-thin margins, just like they do, <laughs> in spite of having higher overhead. The other, more sensible way that we compete is by offering um, unusual items. Um, they, it's difficult for a store like Amazon to do consignment in any sort of reliable way. There's no one to vet um, and sort of curate the collection of electronics that they would have available and determine that everything works properly and repair it if it doesn't work properly. It's just, it doesn't make sense with their business model since they're dealing with such a huge number of people. And the other thing that we do is really focus on uh, boutique manufacturers of new things. In a town like Asheville, there's a huge sense of town pride. You'll often see buy local signs and bumper stickers in all sorts of places. We asked Matt how his shop represents this local sentiment. It feels like there's a community rather than feeling like you're throwing your money down a hole and something else comes hurtling out of it at your face and then you're you know sitting at home in your room with your drumsticks and you don't have the personal connection to it at all and so I think it's socially rewarding um, I think it's good for a, a tighter local economy to just keep money circulating in the economy um, you know as we've learned um, more and more about the way things actually work it's it seems like that's an effective way to, um, to sort of keep everybody working and not extract a lot of dollars from Asheville. Recently, Matt held his grand opening of Sherwood's music. I was lucky enough to be there. Here's what he had to say about the turnout and the business itself. I think a lot of people came through just to check it out and see what was going on. Um, the feedback I got was enormously positive, like you'd expect. I mean, if you give people snacks and beer and wine, usually they're, you know, they want to show some gratitude, which is fantastic. But um, I think the thing keep, people kept saying to me over and over was that Asheville needs a place like this. Asheville needs a place like this. And it's, it's funny because um, that was what inspired me making this place. I thought Asheville needs a place like this, and so why don't I make that place? As one can see, Sherwood's music has a ton to offer from everything from instruments to repairs. So come down and see Matt. Matthew Sherwood at Sherwood's Music here at 180 Patton Avenue in the old Strix Motorcycle Building. Come on down and uh, check out our stuff. We got a lot of interesting things for you to look at and play with.